Hello all and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, so today we are in beautiful Florida, uh, Kissimmee, Florida. This is my parents have a timeshare. One of my best, my favorite memories I should say was this court. Um, but unfortunately they put up this half court system here. So I guess locals don't really come play here anymore. Um, in the past I would be here till about 1.30, you know, at night. We'd have the lights going at nighttime. It was beautiful. All the courts are always packed. But as you can see, it's not that way anymore. They even put up a sign here that says, uh, this, these courts are designed for shooting only. So no hard play is allowed. Um, one thing that's really fun that I saw is, I don't know if it really happens now or when it happens, but the locals definitely used to jump the fence. Because you can see it's kind of torn up a little bit. Now it's got a lock here. You can't come through, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Someone probably got hurt or something like that. But we're going to take the opportunity um, because there's no one on one basketball. We're going to do some shooting exercises. So, a lot of people who think they're good at basketball will think, oh, I'll just pick up a basketball and shoot, and I'll be good. And shoot, 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 shoot some threes, shoot is whatever. But that's not how it actually works. So, what you'd have to do, people like Clay Thompson, Kyrie Irving, what they'll do is they'll come through and they'll do form shooting. So there's three spots, um, front of the hoop, next to the hoop, to the right of the hoop. Um, I'll go through those. I'll also be on the side of the screen to kind of walk you through what I'm doing. The energy level wasn't quite there. I know, it just isn't that warm. Not a lot of people, but you still get a great opportunity to work on that uh, muscle memory because at the end of the day, when you're tired, fourth quarter, your shot may not be perfect, but the muscle memory is always gonna be there. So we'll go through that and we'll go through some uh, finishing drills, how to really improve your Irish, your spinning of the ball, um, and maybe some ball handling. We'll see what we all got time for. So we'll see you later. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Do it now. I'm trying to build up that subscribe people. It's just subscriber base, I should say. All right, well, yeah. Talk to you guys later. See you in the comments. All right, so before we get right into it, um, yes, I got a little dressed up here. I'm wearing what I would usually wear to work. Um, this is kind of a side hobby that I just do for fun, but this video is gonna give you an idea of how you need to adjust your shooting form and your muscle memory. All right, let's just get right in. So as you see the power leg, uh, you need to make sure that your power leg is behind you. now obvious reason is a power leg it gives you the the motion that you need to extend your form so when you're moving back and back and back you're going to eventually need to generate more power the more power you generate the further you can shoot now that's just one part of it you also need to make sure that you are having the ball in a shot pocket now the shot pocket you can do one of three things you can pass it you can shoot it or you can dribble now Specifically when it comes to shooting, if you have it in your shot pocket right here, you want to be able to bring it straight up with your elbow, like you can see the video coming up here. Now right there, that gives you a perfect L shape. Now a lot of times people are like, well my shot is really flat. Now the reason why that you don't want to have a flat shot, it's all about angles. If you're able to get an angle so that it will just simply drop right into the hole that will allow a lot of things that will that can benefit that you can benefit from. for one it will allow you to have shooters touch now people that have that straight dart that goes straight into the hole you know they're not going to have that shooters touch that shooters touch will actually allow you to probably bring up your percentage by you know 10 to 15 percent because if you just get the ball in the hoop and you get that perfect release of your middle your two middle fingers on top here that will allow the ball to kind of settle in place and get to where it needs to go. Now, people may say that this is a very repetitive, boring drill, which is true. But if you can show your coaches before practice, after practice, that you are mastering the basics. Uh, the basics are what will set you apart. Uh, no matter where you go, whether it's your job, whether it's basketball, whether it's your relationships, if you can become an expert in the basics of what you need to do to accomplish that job, you will be successful. Now, a lot of times people ask, you know, what is the difference between an enlisted man in the military and special forces? 
all time, obviously, but also special force uh, soldiers usually have the best basics down. These basics make them look amazing, but they don't second guess it. They have the muscle memory. Basketball is a lot the same way. It's just repetitive motions. You need to get your footwork down. You need to get your elbow tucked. You need to get your eyes looking at the hoop. Um, you really just need to work on all these kind of these fundamentals and that will truly help. Now, granted, today was not the best day. It wasn't the warmest when I was shooting here in Florida, uh, Kissimmee, Florida, but we made the best out of it. So this next part, I'm on the side. I'm still doing the same thing. Typically, you want to shoot three, make them, move to the next one, move back like a step. Now, when you're, when you're right up close to the, the hoop, one thing to remember is you really, in the beginning, you shouldn't be focused on, okay, I need to switch this. No, that's not what is the most important thing. When you're really close, your main goal should be to just be throwing that ball as high up as possible. Now, the reason why you do that is because when you start moving further out and eventually you get to the three-point line and you're still just doing the power leg back, you really need to rely on that flick of the wrist. Without that solid flick of the wrist, you lose all of your power. Um, so the next, the next part is you're kind of bringing it all together, kind of a quicker pace. You're not, you're not over exaggerating it. What you're doing is instead of bringing it all the way out and in, you're just simply going from a normal jumper. So like someone passes you the ball, you still step in, you still step into your shot and you bring it up, but it's just a matter of actual kind of not game speed, but a more of a fluid motion instead of like a robotic one. In the beginning you were like robotic. You're like, okay, I'm going to bring it in. I'm gonna bring it up slowly, I'm gonna go up. The next one, you're really focusing on just bringing it here and just going straight up with it. You wanna get that follow through that angle of your elbow. You wanna make sure that it's a fluid motion. Now, when I started doing this, um, it was, I learned it from a guy named Woody Wilson. Uh, he was a basketball, I guess, shooting coach, instructor with the local college around the area. He'd have guys come on Saturdays and on Sundays and he'd go through all these drills. He would always preach over and over. You've got to get down the fundamentals. If you can get down the fundamentals, you can work your way up the total. Now, another really important thing to think about is you can work on these fundamentals, you can do all of it, but if you, if you just walk into a gym and you just start throwing up threes, sorry, but that is that's not our recipe for you to succeed. Anybody who says they do that is probably a Division I athlete already. They've got the track record to maybe back that up, or they're just God, um, to be honest. You need to really work on those fundamentals, and it should be happening every day that you're shooting. Before you go shooting, you should be mastering the circle. The, basically the, what's it called? Um, the line where you can't go over, unless if it's a charge in the NBA, I can't think what it's called. We'll get back to that. But anyways, so bring it to the other side now. The other side is just more of that same motion, just getting down the angles. Um, when you're, it's, it's kind of crazy. So like I, like I talked about, you don't want to just step in the gym. So say for example, I came into a gym and I just wanted to see, okay, what am I gonna make out of 10? From the top of the key, a three pointer. To me, I honestly feel like I have a short term memory loss when it comes to muscle memory. Because if I walk into a gym, I don't feel ready. I don't feel like it's gonna go in. All right, sorry, let's uh, pause that and go back to this next part. So no matter who you are, whether it's a big, big guy, shooter, point guard, no matter who you are, these drills will help you. So I'm sure you've seen uh, like NBA, 2K, all these things about guys, you know, they're Irish. So this Irish here really helps you to get the motion down, the motion of spinning the ball. You're gonna fail sometimes, you're gonna see you miss sometimes, that's fine, but it's just part of part of the deal. You wanna improve it, you wanna get better. But, uh, but yeah, so that's just kind of some of the things that I wanted to do when I was in Florida. I wish that there was locals there that we could play basketball with. But unfortunately, that just wasn't the case. Um, but we'll definitely get back to doing more one-on-ones. I did just shoot a pretty cool uh, 3v3 match uh, the other day. So we'll see when I can get that up. But uh, thanks, guys, for listening. Uh, leave a comment. I'm not an expert. Um, I just have some years of experience playing basketball.